Hey guys, this is a scary one because it is 1,500 kilometers long. This is really, really long. And the news are everywhere. And professors are warning about a rift. That's what's so long. And where is it? It's underneath Turkey. So Turkish professor, a Turkish professor especially has given a dire warning, a very scary warning about that rift underneath Turkey. Because a German university, the University of Göttingen, their research finds that the fault beneath Turkey is growing. It's already that big, but it is growing. And that's of course, scary, because if you discover a crack underneath a country, that has caused a lot of fear and panic. And not only in Turkey, because this fault line goes towards other areas that might be affected from that as well. So according to this study from the University of Göttingen, this fault beneath Turkey is expanding and it may be heading towards Iraq. They have released a very concerning study, guys, that I want to talk about in this video because it highlights that this is a growing fault in the ancient Tethys oceanic plate beneath Turkey. This study, guys, has really made a splash around the world. And it came to the point when a very well-known Turkish professor, Naci Gurur, he has pointed out the high earthquake risk that comes with this fault. And in the latest statement that he made about that finding, he said, earthquakes always move there from east to west. So the German scientists have identified that 1500 kilometer long fault that stretches from Turkey to Iran. And he made, the professor made the following statement about the situation in the region, in his country. He said it starts from Bingöl, Kaliova, and it reaches Greece. And if we hear Greece, that of course rings the alarm bell because we've just lived through a massive week long lasting earthquake swarm um, at Santorini, volcanic earthquake swarm. So this fault is actually a plate boundary. So earthquakes usually occur at or within that plate boundary. So you might think, is this something normal? No, it's not. So the University of Göttingen has made a press release where they stated that the oceanic plate between the Arabian and Eurasian continental plates is breaking away. So all that does not sound good, really doesn't sound good. So an international research team that was led by the German University of Göttingen has investigated the influence of the forces that are exerted by the Sagros Mountains in the Kurdistan region of Iraq and how much the surface of the earth has bent over the last 20 million years in this area. So their research then has revealed that in the present day, so right now, deep below the Earth's surface, there is the Neotetis Oceanic Plate. So the ocean floor that used to be between the Arabian and the Eurasian continents. And it's breaking off horizontally. It's breaking off with a tear progressively lengthening from southeast Turkey to northwest Iran. So the findings of these researchers, they show the evolution of the Earth's surface is controlled by processes that are really deep with, within the, the planet's interior and not really on the surface. Because what happened basically is when two continents converge over millions of years, the oceanic floor between them slides to great depth beneath the two continents, has to go somewhere, right? And then eventually the continents collide. And then there's masses of rock from their edges. They're lifted up into like towering mountain ranges if they collide. And then over millions of years, this immense weight of these mountains causes the Earth's surface around these mountains to bend downward. That is very, very interesting. 
And then what happens over time? Sediments that are eroded from the mountains accumulate in this depression. And they're forming plains. Plains such as Mesopotamia. Did you guess that? Uh, it's in the Middle East. And then what the researchers have done then, they have modeled the downward bend of the Earth's surfaces based on the Zagros Mountains load, where the Arabian continent is colliding with Eurasia. And then they have combined the resulting size of the depression with the computed topography based on the Earth's mantle to reproduce the unusually deep depression in the southeastern segment of this study area. And then the researchers found, and that's very interesting, that the weight of the mountains alone cannot account for this three to four kilometer deep depression. That's really, really deep. Three to four thousand meters. So that has formed and it had been filled with sediment over the past 15 million years. So what has caused that depression if it was not only the weight of the mountains? So we're, they were continuing to study because they wanted to know what that mysterious bend is. Where does it come from? What is causing it? So what they were saying, they said, well, given the moderate topography in the northwestern Zagos area, it was surprising to find out that so much sediment has accumulated in the part of the area that we were especially, especially studying. So this means the depression of the land is greater than could be caused by the load of the Zagros Mountains. And that's a quote from Dr. Rinas Koshna. He's the lead author and a postdoctoral researcher at the Göttingen, Göttingen University's Department of Structural Geology and Geothermics. So he is an expert. So the researchers are proposing that this is caused by the additional load of the sinking oceanic plate that is still attached to the Arabian plate. And then Koshna also said in a statement in their press release, this plate is pulling the region downward from below. It's pulling the region down. That's really scary if you, look, if you live on top of that. So it's pulling it downward from below, and by that it's making space for more sediment accumulation. And now towards Turkey, the sediment-filled depression becomes much shallower, and that is suggesting that the slab has broken off in this area. It has broken off, and that's what's not good, because it's relieving the downward pull force. Why is the Turkish professor that has looked at this study now giving a dire warning that has caused fear and panic in Turkey? Because again, he says this is a plate boundary and earthquakes occur at or within a plate boundary. And he says the North Anatolian Fault has a specific behavior. It carries the earthquakes from east to west. And then the earthquake migrates from east to west. And the last um, earthquake that was happening there knocked on the door of Mamara. And he says, when an earthquake occurs in Mamara, northern Anatolia will take a break from earthquakes for about 200 years. Basically, what he's also saying is that the eastern Mediterranean is the remnant of the ocean floor or of the ocean that we call Neotetis. So he was hinting towards a possible Istanbul earthquake. He said that there will be a major earthquake within 30 years, and he's giving a 47% chance of it happening. He's a very famous geologist, guys, don't forget this. And basically what he says, he, he was drawing attention to the coastal areas of Turkey, and he said that characteristically, the energy is transferred to the unbroken area, where it's not broken. And he says that the transferred fault is the middle Mamara fault. The reason is that the energy is accumulating there. 
So that's why he says it's necessary to pay special attention to the coastal areas. And we know Turkey has been pretty good in preparing. They were quite scared when we've seen these volcanic seismic crises uh, happening at Santorini, where there was risk of a bigger earthquake with tsunamis and stuff like this, or a volcanic eruption. And he is mentioning the relationship with the Aegean Sea. He has said the following about the seismic activity in the Aegean Sea. Aegean Sea, lots of volcanoes, lots of plate tectonic forces there. He said, well, the African plate is sinking under Anatolia from the south. The plate that is sinking is the African plate because it's melting. It comes to the surface as magma, volcanoes. And he says at the same time, it is expanding due to this subduction that is happening. So he says regular faults are formed in the east-west direction. And the fault and the faults and the lava earthquakes are caused there. So interesting stuff, guys. Um, I hope you liked that little update because we've been looking at this area quite a bit the last four to five weeks. And we know that there's a lot of tectonic plates. And at the beginning, when this earthquake swarm in Santorini started, the researchers and the scientists said, what? Oh, it's purely tectonic, no volcanoes involved. And the Turkish scientists, they said, well, wait a minute, we think it's only volcanic. So they were right in the end. So that's why um, I find this very interesting. And I mean, this study was not conducted by the Turkish scientists. It was a team of international scientists. But it's, of course, very interesting to also hear the Turkish perspective on this. And uh, it helps us better understand what's going on in the region. And it, it doesn't sound good for Turkey. So they are often riddled by earthquakes and dangerous earthquakes with a lot of destruction. And it looks like they won't get a break. It looks like, as the professor said, something bigger is coming. So I hope you found this interesting, guys. If you did, please leave it a like, share this video with your friends. And hey, really, really check out the videos in the end screen. I know there are several videos. You can't click on all of them at once. So that's why I'm saying subscribe to my channel and check out my video list. It's very, very interesting stuff. Campi Flegri is especially concerning right now. There's a lot of new findings and a lot of new developments. And in light of that, they want to change the alert level or no, they don't want to change the alert level in my opinion. That's why they have invented two to more alert levels so that they do not have to raise it from yellow to orange. So they have something in between. It's very interesting. Check the video in the end screen. I have just released it. And uh, yeah, guys, if you want to support the channel, become a supporting member of the channel. With a monthly membership, you can support the channel. Um, everything that you need to know is underneath your video player. If you scroll down, there's a description of this video and there's the links. You can buy me a coffee or two, can support me there with buying me coffees. And uh, thanks for the supers that you're sending me. Thanks to all my members for being members and for staying members. This is really, whenever I see this, I'm really... Uh, I, I don't know how to describe this. It's an amazing feeling and I love you guys for that. Thank you so, so much. And for your coffee support, that, that goes all towards Apollo's cancer diagnosis and or treatment, not diagnosis. And he's looking so good. I think we made it. Uh, we're due for a recheck very, very soon. And he's back to normal. And, and, and this is thanks to your help, guys. So um, yeah, I hope it stays that way. And uh, yeah, what can I say? Thanks, guys. Stay safe. And I see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.